Hey folks, welcome again. This is uh, Ulysses, better known as DJ Ness. Uh, it's up to you guys. You want to call me that or not? <laughs> I'm trying to retire the name, but it's kind of hard every time I make one of these videos because I continue saying it. Uh, besides that, if you have some time to watch this video, some new um, arrivals that have arrived to my home on the DC Multiverse Collection. Uh, this is my episode two. Hopefully you like it. Now, if you remember, some of my videos got corrupted. Uh, so that's why I'm organizing it a little bit better. You're not gonna see me opening boxes because I couldn't wait that long to open the box. I wanted to see my toys and I opened them. However, it'll be the first time me showing it. There's maybe one or two that you're gonna see that I've shown before, but I'm giving examples of stuff. So I do apologize for that if you say, oh, you already showed that one. Um, no, there's a meaning for it. There's a, there's a purpose for it. Um, I'm, and I'm not going to take too much time out of you guys for that. Uh, so yeah, if you have some time to watch this video, stay tuned. There's a lot of toys to display. And I hope you like the video. Take care, guys. Are you back? It's because you want to see this video. Thank you very much for staying around. Um, there was a comment made in one of my videos that they want to see this particular figure or, or they don't believe I have this figure because it's very hard to find. Um, I do have the figure. Uh, fortunate enough, I uh, was working in Target in the toy department and I remember displaying this, this set. It was a set of four characters. It was set up in a little box setting that had all the figures in a certain way. Um, so when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I want this, 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 and we buy this in the morning when I, when I leave, and, which I did. Uh, but that, that, that figure, I'm going to show you guys real quickly. I have shown this figure before in the previous videos. Um, for all you folks that made that comment, it's because you're not watching my previous videos. Um, however, it is titled Episodes now, so I did put up my DC Multiverse Collection Episode 1. This is going to be Episode 2, as you saw in the, in the, in the title screen. Um. But I'm going to show this again so you can believe that I do have it. And that is the exclusive Target edition of Deathstroke in the Defiance collection. As you can see right there. This came with a Wonder Woman. This also came with a Black Adam. He's sitting on the throne. And there was a fourth one, which I forget what it was. Um, because I forget, I could update this video when I'm editing it. I'm going to put it right here, but this is the, the other figure, um, that came in this set. And it also came as a set like this. If we go to the McFarlane Life store, you could actually buy the whole set with all the action figures, which is crazy to me. It's like almost 300 or $400, which is crazy. You're buying only four figures, but you're buying the whole set. I see that as more as a person that owns a business that sells toys, like a retail store, and they sell this type of toys, and they want to display that somewhere in their, in their store. You know, that's the way I see somebody buying something like that. Uh, a small business or a regular business like Target, and I mean, it was exclusive to Target, so maybe they will buy it. However, yeah, this is the back of it. And the front again. It's the Defiance Edition Gold Label Target Exclusive of Deathstroke. Very cool. I like the color. Now I do have another exclusive from Target, um, um, which I, I was kind of surprised it was it was hard to find, um, but easy. In my episode, it was easy to to get. But I was noticing when I was going online, they were all sold out. Uh, I'm not sure if Target is. I don't work for Target anymore, uh, but I don't know how that person does the inventory in Target, like the. The warehouse coach, that's the person that enters all the merchandise that's coming from the, the inbound team. So I'm not sure why they're not updating it so far. Um, that was a position I was going to take, but I decided not to. And I decided to leave the company because they, my hours was going to be changed. And it was not going to work in my um, my life schedule. So that is the reason I left Target. Uh, I miss it, um, but things happen for a reason. Um but this was very crazy because I liked it, the figure. I liked the whole Jokerizer um, series. Um, but for some reason, this is selling out everywhere. If you have a chance to find this one, pick it up right away. If you are a fan, a lot of people don't like the Jokerize uh, figures. I do. I think they're cool. Um, 
But yeah, the, the Red Robin, for some reason, is nowhere to be found in Target. Very hard to find. You can find them online, scalpers. But the funny story about this, I mean, this, this background is awesome. I like this. But as you can see, it's all joke lines. There's another deck of cards in the background. I saw, heard comments before that people are, are trying to complete a deck of joke lines cards. I'm not sure how much they could do with that. If it's true, if they could do it. Um, but yeah, this is real cool. I like the face. Look at the face. It has a little bit of touch of the Robin face, but also it looks like if Robin was the Joker, this is this is actually how he would look. I'm sorry, sorry about the glare. But the funny thing is I went to all my targets in Connecticut and none of them had it. And I had one more Target to go, and that's how it would be. I was not even looking for the action figure. I was going into Target to buy milk because Walmart was sold out with milk. And that's where we buy milk from. Um, so I just went to Target, buy milk. I said, let me just check the toys. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. And I, I was about to pay the um, the milk. And I was like, wait, there's another section in Target. And I always forget about this. Those collectibles section where the Funko Pops is at, the TVs are at, They sometimes have DC stuff there. So let me go over there real quick. As I walk, I see the Jokalai's Keith Ledger, and I see more boxes behind that one. I said, let me see what's this, and that's when I push the Keith Ledger um, Jokalai's box to the side, I saw the leg. I was like, wait, that's Robin. That's the one I'm looking for. I was like, that's perfect. Boom. To realize, two hours later, McFarlane.com updated their website, and they are selling it that same day. So I was going to get it regardless. If it was not through Target, it was going to be through MacFarlane.com because the place I do my secondary hand picking third party websites, figurines uh, for all.com sold out also, which I was like, damn, man, I missed my opportunity to buy Red Robin on Jokalizer. Um, now, this is this series, this, this multiverse is getting very crazy. So many toys. Um, and it's very hard to find when it comes to exclusive. And I'll explain that even a little bit more in detail later on. Um, but it's sometimes very exhausting. And I think I'm developing some anxiety. It's not to do these videos, but just to have that collection. Um, I think I'm building up some anxiety. Uh, I need this figure. And I, and I can't stand it. Um, hopefully it goes away. <laughs> because when I find the figure and I got it in my hand and it's mine, I feel much, much better. It's just the, the thrill of the hunt, as they say. Anyways, let's move on. That was Those were the Target exclusive. Um, and I'm not trying to like make people feel that they have to do it that way to buy all these figures. I'm very fortunate enough to buy I'm a real multiverse fan. I like it. If I don't get it, I don't get it. Um, hopefully, those anxieties um, goes away. Anyways, uh, we got some more. So, I wanted to... Show this figure again. I think I showed it in one of my previous videos, but for some reason I can't find it. Um, I have a feeling I did show it, but I want to show it just in case I didn't. Um, it is from the Shazam movie. Uh, it's not exclusive anywhere. You could buy it anywhere. Uh, it was just two figures that came out, and it's the Wonder Woman figure of Shazam. So it's just Wonder Woman, but because she came out in Shazam 2, I guess they're trying to promote her. I kind of wish... They did some other um, figures from that movie because I do, I did like the movie, but I know it, it bombed in the box office. After a week, it was already on, on you could buy it and, and target it and go on demand and, and buy it and stuff. One week after, that's how bad it did in movies. But yeah, that is Wonder Woman from the Zazan movie. I have a feeling I did show this one before, but I don't remember. So here we go. My other figure that I'm going to show you is one of my favorite um, figures. Um, I was very happy when I got this. I was very happy when they showed it. But there's a flip side to this um, figure. There is a Chase figure. Now, anybody that doesn't know what a Chase uh, figure is, Chase is the platinum version of it. So it has different colors or it could be completely platinum. And people buy it that way so they could paint it their way. Uh, I, I'm not as that professional to paint anything i'm not opening the box i'm just leaving it like that um, but there is another version of this and it's a different color of it and that's uh, pretty much the riddler it's a classic look as you can see awesome 
Now, I bought that in the MyFriendOnlineToysStore.com um, and bundled with it. It was a bundle between three different figures, which I got them here. Um, the other one was um, Catman, and that was exclusive to the store. So you're not going to be able to find this anywhere else, only in um, MacFindLine.com and, of course, eBay and all that stuff when scalpers starts posting them so you could buy them. Um, now, if you go to like a GameStop, you probably would not find one of these. You go to a Walmart, Target. It's exclusive to Microsoft. I mean, uh, not Microsoft. Uh, MacFindLine.com. And that is Catman. It's a very awesome figure. I don't know the character Catman that well. Reminds me of Batman. Don't know why, but it does. All right, so I'm gonna show you these two figures. I did show this to you guys a long time ago. It was also a very exclusive figure to the MacFarlane.com store, and that was part of the Hush series. But this is the possessed Superman. So he was possessed by um, poison ivy, as you can see here. There's some poison ivy um, venom or whatever she does to hypnotize her <clears throat> folks, <laughs> I guess for a better way of saying it. Um, very hard to find, very sold out. You, you, I mean, the most expensive one I saw on eBay was like a hundred bucks. I mean, I think scalpers go a little bit outrageous. I would not mind buying this for $30. Even though it's $20, I would not mind $30. But scalpers want to make a profit twice on the same sale it's just ridiculous but people pay it that's the problem people do pay it the art in the back is from jim lee so if you guys remember hush was done completely by jim lee one of my favorite artists i wish i could meet him sometime um someday i guess however they went ahead and did another version of this one but it was just superman regular superman not not possessed and you can see he's not possessed on this one, and he's possessed on that one. This was Go. This one you can find anywhere, not exclusive anywhere. It's the same art in the back, but it's black and white in the back, as you can see. I wonder if people cut this out and start painting it just to see what they could do. That's not kind of awesome. So it has, I don't know, what is that in the back? I guess that's the stand where he flies. Yeah, it has a card in the back. Um, but not much. This one has no stand. Uh, it has a card. has two fingers changing hands and the poison ivy portion of it. Same figure, just the face is just a little bit different. And that is the main Superman from the DC Universe. And what I mean... <clears throat> excuse me, what I mean by that is that there's no... Like alternate universe timeline, the main canon um, universe. Uh, let me see. The movie came out, which I loved a lot. Uh, it came shy of one month of Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, the movie is uh, the the Blue Beetle. I don't have the other Blue Beetle, the the, the original one, because I can't find it for some reason. Maybe I'll walk into a different target. I can find it. Um, but yeah, this is the Blue Beetles, the two ones that came out, uh, nothing else came out because everything else was like a, uh, what do they call, mega figures, and that's where the enemy is at. There's a mega figure of the enemy, uh, but there was no regular size enemy figure, which I don't understand. So as you can see, this is one of the poses of the mega figure of the Blue Beetle. But that's the background of this one. And this is the background of this one. So I really like my toys nice and neat. This was kind of bent as you can see. I don't like that. But it's underneath. Nobody sees that. It's just a conscious thing that I have. Like, ah, oh, that, that's messed up. And it was not messed up. I dropped it by mistake and it hit the corner. And I'm not going to buy another one. I'm, I'm going to save it to myself. I'm not going to buy another one. <laughs> My daughter likes this um, toy. She's dying to open it. So if by any chance I buy this one again for her, I just give her this one. She's going to open it anyways and keep the, the other figure. Um, she's not a collector. She just likes my toys. She wants to open all my toys. And it's a big no. 
those are the Blue Beetle series of the movie, which is actually very cool. The movie was great. I liked it a lot, not because it's a Hispanic culture movie. Um, it's just a good movie. If you have not seen it, 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 it did take some kind of slack. Um, but hey, I liked it. <clears throat> this is one of my newest ones. I actually picked this up yesterday, which is actually real cool. Um, it, they just started hitting um, the, the floor, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, they are uh, Walmart exclusive, so that's what I'm going to show you guys now, some Walmart exclusives. Uh, and that is the Black Lightning one. Just happened to walk into Walmart, buying milk again. <laughs> and um, that's when usually I find my figures. Went to the back and I found them. I was like, oh, psh, let's go. I do like his pose in the back. That's awesome. Black Lightning right there. Awesome. I do, I do um, pick um, t-shirts, like I do kind of tissues. I, I, I think I might scan this and make a shirt out of it. Uh, oh, a lot of these little background, um, I like them a lot. So I do a lot of graphic t-shirts and stuff like that. Awesome, I'm gonna scan it and just, just do it for myself. I don't sell them or anything like that. Anyways, exclusive to Walmart or Scalper Heaven, um, whatever you wanna buy it, feel free. You probably will buy this one, 50 bucks at Scalperland. Uh, I wanted to show you this series also from Walmart. Um, actually, I want to go back to Walmart. I'm going to stop exclusive Walmarts. And I'm going to show you an exclusive and non-exclusive. A couple months ago, I heard... In a group I am in Facebook that there's an exclusive exclusive um, Tim Drake um, figure in Amazon and I'm like what and it was one of my favorite books that I read when I was a young kid and I'm just gonna show you it's a uh, Tim Drake this was I think I showed this before this was exclusive to Amazon and it was selling out so quickly like when I was trying to buy Amazon site was crashing don't know if it was because of this but it was crashing I couldn't buy it I uh, had to continue and eventually it went through and I was able to get it from the first batch um, and I was very happy about that. Uh, a couple months later, I guess whatever they did not sell, McFarlane.com posted them. Boom. I was like, oh man, I could have bought it here too. All right, so that's, that's good to know in future reference, like if something I cannot buy, eventually, you know, Ty will just put another offer up. I didn't buy it then. I just because I had this one already, which is cool. A lot of people took advantage of that and bought it because they were not able to buy it for the Amazon. The following day after Todd put that on the site, he goes ahead and put this one. It's not exclusive, but they pretty much look alike. It's the same Tim Drake, but the reborn form. A little bit of the uniform was changed, like the shorts. The pants, the sleeves, long sleeve, the cape is pretty much the same. Um, the mask, one is green, one is black. So it's it's the same figure, but just a little bit altered. It's not exclusive, so you can find this anywhere. This one you can find now in TalkMcFarland.com if it's still being sold, or if Amazon still has a few. I'm not sure I haven't checked, but those two were there. <clears throat> Now, I wanted to show you a new series that comes out now. Three more just came out, which they should be coming here anytime. But I'm not sure if I so, show you this, but if I didn't, here are here they are. And if I did, sorry, I'm going to show it to you again. Um, but this is the new line from McFarland Line. It's called the McFarland Line Collection Edition. And it's Wave 1. And I got Abyss, as you can see right here, Abyss. And this is the background, which is looking fantastic. Look at those details. Uh, whoever drew that is amazing. <clears throat> the other one, which I showed you in my last video, I had some exclusive Comic-Con stuff. Plus, I have some exclusive Comic-Con stuff here, too, which I'll be showing you pretty soon. Um, but this exclusive comic time that I had was Green Lantern Alan Scott. 
um, I think they call them now the Dread Lantern, but I might be wrong. It looks the same, but maybe not. Maybe this is just Alan Scott. I feel kind of weird about saying that because I might get bashed in the comments, but I think they are the same. And then, of course, the main one. A lot of people didn't like this one. I liked it a lot. Um, Superman, Action Comics number one on the McFarlane Collection Edition. So I came across an um, uh, interview, and I'm going to say this real quick, of Tom McFarlane, somebody who was interviewing him about the new um, New York Comic Con coming out this week. And he said that they have a vault of DC stuff since like 1930s that they're going to be doing toys left and right. So they have all that collection, all that information. Like me and many people out there will probably pass away before we see the whole collection come out. Because that's, that's how much stuff they have. And they have access to everything. So even though I have a lot of figures now, this is nothing. I think I could fill my whole entire house and I still don't have the whole collection. Anyways, those, those three figures that I just showed you from the uh, McFarlane's Collection Edition, they all have Platinum Editions too. Um, I did see all three of them. I didn't pick them up, but I did see all three of them. I only saw them like in GameStop and stuff, even though you could get them anywhere. But I only saw them like in GameStop and, and stuff like that. And I didn't pick them up because they were all dented and, and damaged. And I'm a very careful person, I guess, and I like my stuff nice and neat. <clears throat> so, I was going to show you another exclusive uh, Top Mac Final Line um, box. Uh, this is a uh, Superman Prime Infinite Crisis, the edition. So, this is Superman Prime, and I also showed this a while, while back in one of my old videos. But this is how Superman Prime is, right? try to get this glare out of here I hate it and then this is the back of that Superman Prime and they were showing it with um, Dr. Fate uh, Demon Batman and Wonder Woman and Keen Shazam um, that's what they were promoting when this wave came out now I got this gold label from my, my family of Superman Prime this is the back of it and like I said before I love opening these because I could actually touch the figure. I'm not gonna sell this, so this is my own personal collection, and I love how I could see this. There it is. So I could actually take this out and see what number I am, because they say that they only made 4,010 figures of this edition. I'm not going to take it out. I don't care what number I am. I'm probably number one and, and I'm never going to know. <laughs> Maybe one day I will do an exclusive video and show you guys on that. Um, but yeah, that is Superman Prime, this edition right here, which was cool. Now, I did get another Comic-Con exclusive, but this was, how can I say it? It was not from figurine.com. Remember I said I had this figure before it even came out to Comic-Con and stuff. And that was the Green Lantern Dread, Dread Green Lantern, whatever. It was in my house and Comic-Con was not out. And they said that was an exclusive Comic-Con figure. And I was like, why do I have it? These um, I got through the McFarlane line um, store plus that Dread um, one also. So I picked up the Dread before. But then Todd decided to do these three together and those three the dread green lantern was included i showed that dread green lantern in the first edition of the episode you could check it out there but this uh is the exclusive doc uh, mr freeze uh comic con edition that comes with a comic book in the background as you can see right here now these are considered dc directs or page punchers and I was going to start buying these figures. So they have like um, Aquamans. And they also just finished releasing something else. I forgot what it was called, man. It was like a, an old Robin. An old like um, caveman editions of the heroes back in the days. Um, yeah, I forgot what they were called. A ancient, whatever. 
But yeah, my when I saw that series and I saw that it was the plastic and stuff, I was like, can they stand up? And and they could, as you can see, they could stand up. You can't see it, but yeah, it has a base, a big long base, and they actually stand up. I thought it only had this, and then this, but no depth to it. And I was like, it's not gonna stand up; it's gonna fall down. But it does, it does stand up just fine. And it's it reminds me of that um, Destro um, special edition from Target with the with the colors. Mr. Freeze, kind of cool. There's another version of this, which is not the white one. It's just the regular color, which eventually I will, I will pick up, but I haven't. And then with that trilogy, um, the Superman that a lot of people are looking for, the 85th anniversary, anniversary that was Comic-Con exclusive after Comic-Con, Todd, whatever he had left, put it up on the site as a bundle of three and then when this sold out he reduced it to a bundle of two which included the mr freeze and the the dread lantern um but yeah very proud i got this one very excited i got this one and this it is awesome here it is it's full glory red blue and yellow now, I got to take the whole thing out. I did take it out. I wanted to see if it had the stand and all that stuff. Um, what do call it? I don't remember what number I was, but I was a number there. I just don't remember. Also, my friend line don't have it. I don't, haven't seen it. Um, I did see it still recently in figurines doc, figurinesforall.com. I think it was going for 30 or 35 dollars or maybe a little bit more um which is awesome i was going to jump on this series a lot these these box series but they're so hard to find that i'm not even going to bother if i get them i get them if i don't i don't um and the reason i say that is because there was another one like that comic-con exclusive of batman the um the night four edition and I showed this to you guys recently in the old videos. This is the same one that comes in that box. I think the only difference is something with the cape, maybe the color is darker, or his uniform is darker, something is different. But it's the same exact figure. I mean, I wish I got it. I, I would have bought it. Um, but it's not something like, if I didn't have this one, then yes, I would do my best to try to get that one. But because I do have this one, I, I just... It doesn't phase me like, oh man, I gotta get that one. I got a version of it. And and that's what I'm not like about what Todd McFarlane is doing. Same figures, just different, a little bit of different colors, different box. They're, they're trying to make it more exclusive. And oh, do you have to have this one? And, and I don't fall for that. I really don't. Even though I get my anxieties and I need to do this and that, it comes to a point that I say to myself, yeah, it's not worth it. This series is one of my favorite series out there. This one I've been showing to you little by little, every video, and that is the the vampire series. So, you know, Superman, the um, Joker, and the Batman. So fortunate enough, yesterday I went to Walmart and bought my milk. And was very lucky enough to find the Green Lantern version. And I'm very proud to show this one to you guys. It is my Green Lantern version. I love the details on this one. And to tell you the truth, I may have to buy another one just to open it up, but I'm not too sure. I will let you guys know in the next video if you see it open or not. That means I bought it. Now, as you can see, the back is amazing. Look at that amazing how can a character get possessed like this like a vampire and still know how to use that power that's just amazing to me and then i found out that there is a series that came out about this and i'm going to read last video i explained um that superman cannot be a vampire but in this series that just came out or recently came out they show how they made him as a vampire which I'm very interested in knowing. Now, 
I did see some of the covers of the of the books, and I do see some other characters as vampires. It seems like Wonder Woman became a vampire. It seems like Green, I mean Night. What is it? Nightwing uh, became a vampire. So hopefully those folks become part of this series. That would be kind of cool. I never saw Batman as a vampire, but they made him here as a vampire. But maybe if I read the story, I would know more. And folks, that's it. Those are all the new figures that came in. Some of the ones that I had before that I showed you before and I explained why I had it to show it to you. Um, hope you liked the, the video. Uh, it's a little bit shy of 30 minutes. But if you have any comments, concerns, feedback, um, just give it to me in the comments. I, I love reading all your, your comments. Maybe your comment will actually come out soon. Um, and that's about it. Any other, any other um, questions? Feel free to ask, and that's about it, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, and you have folks you have, have a good day. Take care. Bye. -bye.